I made these YouTube thumbnails, including the text you see using Dolly 3 inside of ChatGPT with this simple prompt formula that I wanna share with you. You could use Dolly 3 for free inside of Bing Image Creator, and you could also use it inside of ChatGPT with the paid version of ChatGPT. I prefer to use ChatGPT. I think the back and forth on the revision is a little bit easier and gets me better results, but compare Bing if you don't have the pro version of ChatGPT to see if you're getting similar results with the prompts I'm gonna show you in this video. So there are five parts to this prompt and basically any type of genre, any niche that you go after for creating a thumbnail, these five parts are gonna let you really dial in what you're looking for. So part one of this equation is image type. So you always have to give it an example of image type you're looking for. So that could be a photograph, illustration, drawing, oil painting. So I always start the beginning of my prompt as create me a YouTube thumbnail in a photographic style or in an illustration style. So that becomes the very first part. The second part is you have to describe the setting, basically the quick description of the environment. So the example I'm gonna use for this one is urban backdrop at night. So what we have so far, the first part, the photographic style. The second part is describing basically the backdrop or the setting urban backdrop at night. The third part is the main subject. So you have to basically highlight the primary element that you want to see. In this case, mine is going to be two people comparing smartphones. Okay, so part one, style, part two, setting, part three, the main subject that I want to see. We have a couple more parts to it. Part four is text placement and style of the text. So because Dolly could actually create text now with Dolly 3, you wanna tell it what text you wanna see in the thumbnail. So the text I'm gonna use is gonna say text and then I'm gonna put here the text here in quotation marks, smartphone showdown. That's what I wanna see. And then if you wanna give it some styling for the text, you can. So white letters center at the bottom is gonna tell it where to put the text. So this was text that was right centered for this previous example that I was using. And the very last part is you could also describe the overall mood. So that's the tone and the style. So in this case, I'm gonna choose modern and dynamic. Now for all the examples that I gave you, you could actually ask ChatGPT in a different chat, a variety of different options for any one of those. So urban backdrop at night, right? That's the setting you could ask for it for variety of different examples. So we're like, hey, urban backdrop at night is a setting. Can you give me five other options for a different type of setting? The text, you could ask ChatGPT to come up with different texts for you based on the concept of your video. So you could give it the title or the idea and get this kind of text to be very prominent. I could tell you from making over a thousand different YouTube thumbnails, the text should be very, very clear and it should be about three or four words. It should actually not be very long and ChatGPT or Dolly inside of ChatGPT doesn't get the spelling right every single time. So you might have to ask for a revision and say, fix that spelling for me. And for the last one, modern and dynamic, again, you could get that to ChatGPT, ask it to give you different tones or different moods or different styles, and it's gonna give you different variations of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this out. I'll show you how to revise it from there. And while it's making that, let me click on this because once you make thumbnails, you could see the exact prompt here and you could copy and paste this prompt. So remember, we always start with the image type. So this time I chose illustration instead of choosing photographic, which is what I chose in the new one that we're making. And then I kind of went along with the rest of that formula. So I'll put that five parts in the description. Every time you follow that formula, putting something for each part, you're gonna get a better result. And let me go back to Dolly and there we go. So we have ourselves smartphone showdown. Now, a couple of things could happen. You could misspell this. So all you have to do, say, I like what you just did. Just make sure to fix the spelling. Some things like the word chat GPT, for example, you can't get the spelling right in that. So it typically only gets the spelling right if it's a common word that you could understand. And if I click on it, I could see the prompt here. And you could see it's done a little bit more to what I wrote. So it does edit the prompt a little bit to make it a little bit more clear. But as long as you follow that formula, it's gonna get a lot closer to 
what you're looking for. Now, anytime you click on these, you could go ahead and download it from here, or you could go ahead and revise it, which is really, really nice inside of Bing and inside of ChatGPT. You could quickly revise these and get different variations. So I could say something like make the text pop more or make the image brighter. And here, when I said make the text pop, you could see it's made it a lot more prominent this time around, right? So it's really popping off the screen. And in the description of the video, I'll share with you a bunch of other prompts that you could copy and paste. Some of them I showed you here in this video, some of the examples in the beginning, but those prompts all follow the same five steps. So the steps will be in the description as well as new prompts you could copy and paste and experiment. But being able to create entire YouTube thumbnails right inside of Dolly 3 without having to use any other type of app, no Photoshop, no Canva, everything takes place over here. Really exciting.